Hey, before the video starts, guys, make sure I drop a like down below, as always, trying to hit those 500 likes. And also, since we're kind of reflecting on 2K18 in this video, I want to do a little bit of a poll, man. If you think 2K18 was good, type 1 in the comment section. If you think it was bad, type 2, man. Be honest, just want to do a little bit of a poll. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Yo, what's good, guys? Peter here. We are back with another video, and today, we've got the NBA 2K18 my park awards man you guys don't know orlando made a video like this last year i was planning on making this video like way back like in july but everybody's trying to make one now so i figured i'm gonna drop mine now there's a ton of awards to give out to you know a bunch of different content creators 2k18 was a pretty interesting year you know everybody thought that you know the game was gonna be the best 2k ever when it was announced and it was gonna make up for 2k17 and all that and then you all know what happened, man. We got what we got. So like I said, a bunch of awards to give out. So, you know, let's get right into it. If you haven't already, drop a like. Make sure you guys do drop a like down below, man. I'm trying to hit 500 likes on this video. Hey, yesterday's video already has almost 700 likes. And, you know, it's only been out for like 21 hours. So thank you guys for all the support on that. Let's get right into the first award, Best Dribbler. Now, I have to give this to Steezo. Steezo is a pretty interesting YouTuber, man. You know, he doesn't upload too much. But when he uploads, it's usually like a dribble mixtape or like a dribble montage or something to do with dribbling because he is an amazing dribbler even though 2k18's dribbling isn't as good as 2k17 you know he still set out to be yo i'm gonna be the best dribbler this year his mixtapes are crazy you know he has some nasty clips the edits are nice and i know a lot of people might think that yo, this is like a silly award yo just best dribbler who cares but like yo dribbling is a big part of 2k man so best dribbler has to go to Stizo. all right yo next award biggest rager it's gotta be swante man swante is known for raging you know he's been doing it for a few years now and with 2k18 you know being the game that it is yo he brought the rage from 2k16 2k17 into 2k18 man and not only does he rage a lot and he rages hard it's funny yo it's funny to watch yo it's funny to see people trolling him or him trolling people or just him raging in general i don't really know who else i would give this to swante definitely deserves this one all right next award most improved player there's a lot of people who grew a lot this year but i gotta give it to my boy cole the man yo his content has evolved so much this year if you guys have watched any of his videos he puts a lot of time into them especially you know the editing he has great video ideas a lot of good challenges he's also really good at dribbling and not only has his content involved yo he's grown a lot this year i think he started the year with like just over 100k and he just passed 200k man so i've got to give it to cole man his content has improved so much this year if not cole yo definitely duke dennis man duke grew a lot this year and he also makes you know great videos great video ideas stuff like that so a lot of people improved this year but yo the most improved goes to cole the man biggest clout chaser you know a classic award clout chaser has been in the park community for a long time you know it's always this kind of thing you know people pulling up on people playing each other always trying to pull up on youtubers and there's no other clear winner for this award man it's gotta be my boy power man power is just you know a classic classic clout chaser not in that much of a bad way you know some people clout chase and it's just like super cringy or they're, they're super obnoxious like nobody likes them but power is known for you know playing people most of his videos are about playing people i remember like the first week of 2k immediately he pulls up on me and of course you know i, I beat him but hey biggest clout chaser goes to power all right next award biggest no life now people call each other no lives all the time in the 2k community because you know to grind for a top rep you really have to no life the game like you got to play like 16 18 hours a day crazy and if you do that for like one year maybe even two it's not too bad like it's still really playing the game an absurd amount but like no lifing has gotten to the point to where people do it every single year now. So I gotta give this award to McGurk. Now there's a lot of people that know Life 2K. You know, a lot of people told me they gave this to like uh, Poor Boy Sin, but this dude McGurk has gone for top rep three years in a row. He went for it in 2K16, didn't get anywhere close. Like he was on the leaderboards, I think one or two points. A lot of people didn't know who he was back then. Last year, he was like second legend on xbox or something like that so that's already two years right there you know two years of not going outside but you know he decided i'm gonna go for top rep again and he went for the first 99 this year you know technically we don't have to rep this year but yo he went for the first 99 again for the third year in a row and he was unsuccessful again man did not get top rep for the third year in a row but yo he's still going for it he might even go for it in 2k19 who knows but yo i've got to give it to mcgurk yo three years in a row going for top rep still hasn't really got it all Right, next award most underrated now underrated is like kind of a loose term everybody claims that they're like underrated even people with like 150 200k which is big for the 2k community claim they're underrated but 
there's one person who I think, in my opinion, deserves this award, and that is my boy Gino, man. Gino DF. I think he's the most underrated. You know, he has like 17k, makes great content, uploads the streams every single day. He grinded for 99. He was one of the first 99s this year. You guys all know we've made some bangers together. Longest shot, 99 for 77. Those are like some huge bangers. He's also on my daily upload challenge, so you know, kind of a bias there. But hey, I don't know too many underrated YouTubers. Obviously, I'm gonna have to like watch and know the person to know if they're underrated or not, man. So most underrated goes to Gino. Best female content creator. This goes to Nikki Martinez. She makes good videos. You know, she streams a lot too. Like I see her streaming like 2K17 a lot. This one's kind of a no-brainer. You know, there's not too many females in the 2K community, but yo, I gotta give it to Nikki, best female content creator. All right, yo, next award, biggest scammer. Now scamming it's a pretty big problem in the 2k community man you really can't trust a lot of people but you'd think you could probably trust youtubers right you know they don't want to ruin their reputation they don't want their fans to be mad at them except wire and dj now he didn't upload too much 2k18 this year but yo there can't be only positive awards man we gotta keep this fresh we gotta keep this entertaining yo he's still scamming people yo i remember like back in 2k16 people were saying he was scamming them last year people were saying he was scamming like he reset an ss5's rep or something and after all that this man is still scamming people. He actually scammed one of my own members, one of my TFE members. He scammed him like this week. I know a couple people made a video on that, but yo, like biggest scam reward. It's gotta go to Winery DJ, man. Biggest park video of 2K18 goes to Ty Sino's Pure Shot Creator 99 reaction, man. It has 1.6 million views, crazy high number. And Ty Sino actually wasn't the first 99, but he actually ended up getting the most viewed park video of 2K18. Who knows? It might have even more than that by the end of the year. But yeah, biggest park video, Ty Sino. Biggest park stream of the year goes to G Size and him being the first person to hit 99 overall. And he had something like 43,000 viewers or 45 5,000. I don't know the exact number. I'm obviously going to show you guys the screenshot, but crazy high number, man. All time high for highest rep, even though 99 isn't technically a rep. And also the fact that all you really got was a badge. Even with all that, he broke Orlando's record with the biggest park stream in 2K history and the biggest park stream of 2K18. Most hated player. Now, there's a lot of toxic people in the 2K community. You guys all know, but. There's one person who a lot of people hate, man, and it's McGurk. I mean, the dude is racist, he boots people, he yells at people, his rage is just annoying. And a lot of people don't like him, man. Like, tons of people know who he is, because, you know, he's been going for top rep for, like, three years. But since he is, you know, who he is, and not a lot of people like him, he doesn't have, like, over 100k like all of the other top reps. Best IRL basketball player. Now, there's a lot of people who claim that they're good at basketball that are 2k youtubers but not too many people show it you know like me personally i've only 1v1 somebody once and it was chico and i beat him six to one and i think he like quit you know not, not trying to brag right now he stopped no that actually was what happened but you know i gotta give this to duke dennis man crazy athletic you know he can do some nice dunks he can shoot and he showed it man he 1v1 davis beat him duke yo i don't know how you let davis score nine on you but now we stop i gotta give this to duke dennis man worst iro basketball player now this person may not be the worst but at least he's shown what he's got and it's my boy cheese a holic man yo cheese I, what you doing here man what you doing here bud oh my yo i mean the dribbling is like all right but you, you really had to break the shot man oh my hey at least he showed it though i mean there's probably somebody worse out there but they just haven't like recorded themselves playing so i gotta give this to cheese man all right finally the mvp of 2k18 my park it's gotta be agent zero man my boy agent dude is clearly the mvp yo makes extremely great quality videos you know uploads frequently pulls insane viewers he has like almost 700k now off strictly 2k everybody knows who agent zero is man i remember like me him and davis when we pulled up this sneaker con yo like everybody is coming up to agent yo yo are you agent yo yo can i get a picture yo it's crazy man like agent definitely the mvp of 2k18 all right so these are all the awards that i could come up with people for but some awards you know i had there but i couldn't come up with people and that was best streamer best 2k player worst 2k player and rookie of the year rookie of the year because nobody really made their channel this year and grew super fast i mean most people who grew a lot this year had their channel in like 2k16 or 2k17 but yeah i couldn't come up with any people for them so if you guys know who you guys think is like best streamer worst 2k player best 2k player or rookie of the year let me know who you think they are in the comment section below because i honestly honestly couldn't decide and to end off the video man i just want to give five people who i think are most likely to blow up next year and the qualifications for this is you have to have 100k because if you have 100k you can still blow up but you've already kind of got to a pretty high level man so five people i think are gonna blow up first i gotta give my boy gino i mean he was most underrated so 
He's probably gonna blow up next year. Number two, that boy, you know, he uploads daily. He grinds out YouTube. He has like 85K. So I think he's gonna continue to blow up next year because he's growing really fast right now. Number three, whoever hits top rep. I mean, that's kind of obvious. It's a guaranteed blow up. Number four, I gotta give it to my boy, USK Kuros, another really underrated YouTuber. I've known him literally since five subs. So I'm, I'm not trying to be like too biased, but I honestly think he's underrated, man. Again, grinds YouTube uploads pretty much daily and he's growing fast right now. He has like three point something K. And then number four, Five, hopefully yo it's me man i asked on twitter and a lot of people were honestly saying me hopefully everything works out man we're not quite at 100k yet but you already know man we're dropping bangers daily for the rest of 2k18 and 2k19 yo let's make 2k19 a great year all right that's it for the video thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you guys think i got any of the awards wrong let me know in the comment section and let me know who you think should have won that award again make sure i drop a like down below if you haven't already man try to hit 500 likes on this video and if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications to join the family man and for more great quality content we're on that 80k grind i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace